Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this quick tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a Windows 10 bootable USB flash drive. There are two common ways to do this. The first method is to directly use the media creation tool from Microsoft, in which case all you would need is a USB stick, 16 gig or larger, and an internet connection. The faster the better. The second method is to use a third-party application to create your Windows 10 bootable USB. In that case, you will need a Windows 10 ISO file, which you can download for free. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. A USB USB stick and of course the third party application. There are several third party applications out there you can choose from. Here I'll be using Rufus. I find it quite easy to use. It has great reviews and of course it's free. But before we proceed, if you are here to subscribe, take a moment and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so as to keep up with future tech support videos like this one. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so for the first method, I'll be using the Microsoft Media Creation Tool. You can get that directly from Microsoft website. Simply go to Google and search, download Windows 10. Click on the first result from Microsoft. I will leave a direct link to this download page down in the video description. On this page, click on download the tool now and the Windows 10 Media Creation Tool will download shortly. It's just about 18 megabytes in size, so it should download pretty fast. After downloading, run the tool by double-clicking. Accept the license terms. Now here the default option is to upgrade this PC now, but you want to select create installation media for another PC. But first insert your USB flash stick. Before that you should ensure you back up the files on your USB stick because the media creation tool will automatically delete the files on your USB during the creation process. As you can see here I have no files on my USB stick so I'm good to go. Here I will select create installation media for another PC and click next. On this page, you have to select the language, architecture and edition of Windows 10 you wish to have. By default, I have English US as the language, Windows 10 edition and then 64-bit architecture as the recommended options. Now you want to change these configurations to match your PC specifications. So first uncheck use recommended options for this PC. Only then will you be able to change these default settings. For the language, I will leave mine as English US. Edition of course is Windows 10. Then on the architecture, there are three options. 32-bit, 64-bit and both. If you already know the architecture of the PC you will be installing your Windows 10 on, then you can select it here. But if you don't or if you have multiple PCs you wish to install Windows 10 with both 32 and 64-bit, then your best bet is to select the both option. That way you won't need to create multiple installation media. However, this will require more storage space on your USB, somewhere around 8GB or more. So if you want to run with this option, then it's better to use a 16GB USB to avoid any errors. But if you want to go with the 32 or 64-bit option, then an 8GB USB stick should be enough. Here I'm using this 32GB Sony USB 3.1. And yes, if you can get a USB 3.1 or 3.0, it could save you a bit of time during the disk creation and also when you use it to install Windows on other computers compared to the USB 2.0. So here I will select both for the architecture and hit next to proceed with the process. On this page, it gives me the option of either using a USB flash drive or creating an ISO file which will later be bent to a DVD. So I will leave it as the USB flash drive and hit next. Then select the USB flash drive you want to use. You can easily go back to your computer folder to confirm the volume label of the USB drive to ensure you select the right drive. Then hit next to start the download and media creation process for Windows 10. This stage will take a while depending on the speed of your internet connection, the processing power of your PC and of course the speed of your USB stick. Some USB sticks are faster than others, especially when you compare the 2.0 to 3.1 or 3.0. If you have any of the latter, do use it. 2.0 will also work fine just that it might take a bit more time during the disk creation process and also when you use it to install Windows on some other PC. In any case, this process will take a while, 15 to 20 minutes on average. Yours could take more or less time depending on the factors I just mentioned. However, you can keep working on your laptop during this process. I'm going to fast forward this part of the video.
Now we've successfully completed the media creation process for Windows 10 installation. You should have this page saying your USB flash drive is now ready. You can also go to your computer folder to verify that your USB now has the installation files and is configured as bootable. You should have files like this in your flash drive. So now we are ready to install Windows 10 offline using this USB flash drive. The second method is to use a third-party application to create your Windows 10 bootable USB. Here I'll be using Rufus, but before downloading and running Rufus, you need to have your Windows 10 ISO file saved somewhere on your computer. If you are here to download the Windows 10 ISO file, the procedure is pretty similar to the first method we just saw. So from Microsoft page, you download the media creation tool and run by double-clicking. Here select create installation media for another PC and click next. On this page, select the language architecture and edition of Windows 10 you wish to have and hit next. On the page that follows, it gives you the option of either using a USB flash drive or creating an ISO file which you will later bend to a DVD. So here simply select the ISO file option and hit next. Then select the location where you want to save your ISO file and hit save. Then wait for the download and media creation process to complete. Again, I will fast forward this part of the video. Afterwards, you should see a page like this showing the location where your ISO file was saved. And if you go to that location, you should find a file like this called windows.iso. Now that we have the ISO file, I'll go ahead and download Rufus. For that, simply go to Google and search Rufus. And then click on the first result from rufus.ie. It should bring you to this download page. I will leave a direct link to this page down in the video description. Here scroll down to where it says download and click on the last update version. Now it's version 3.8. Depending on when you are watching this video, it could be a different version. So I will click on that. It's just about one megabyte in size. Now after downloading, insert your USB stick and double click on the Rufus installation file to run it. Hit yes on the user account control. You should have an interface like this pop up. Here first select the USB device you want to use in case you have multiple USB devices attached. Then on the boot selection field, use the drop down to select disk or ISO image. Then click on this select button to the right and locate the ISO file you have saved. Mine is on the desktop, so I will select that. And here you need to select a partition scheme for the disk where you intend to install Windows. The two options here are MBR and GPT. GPT is the newer scheme meant to replace MBR with some improved features. Now, if you intend to use the USB to install Windows on a formatted laptop or PC with no disk partitions, then you should use the GPT option. During the installation, it will automatically convert your disk to GPT. However, if you want to use the USB to upgrade from a previous version of Windows, then you may want to check the partition format of the disk. For Windows 10, simply go to your search and type disk partition. Then click on create and format this partition from the search results. Here right click on disk 0 where you intend to install the windows and select properties. Click on volumes. And then you should see the partition style of your disk. Here mine is MBR, yours could be GPT in which case you should select GPT. So for my case with MBR selected, I will click on start. It then informs me that all the data on the USB stick will be deleted during the process. Here ensure you've backed up all the files on your USB stick. Then hit OK and wait for the process to complete. When completed, it should say ready here and then you can close Rufus and eject your USB drive. And with that, you have a Windows 10 bootable USB drive ready to install Windows on other computers. 
And that is it for this tutorial. Hope one of these was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.